In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the traditional range of albums from Heritage. And these are available in five different sizes. There's the Classic 1, the Classic 2, the Classic 3, the Classic 4, and the smaller Studio 80. The traditional albums are also available in three different colour options. There's the Oxblood Red and Tan, the Blue and Tan, and the Green and Tan. Now, as the name suggests, these are a traditional style of albums, which means they have plain cream colour pages with a glass lined sheet in between each page to protect the photographs and prevent them from sticking together when the album is closed. So let's take a look at adding some photographs into one of these albums. To start off with, we'll have a look at the classic two style of album, which is ideal for laying out a selection of six by four images. And before we start actually attaching the images in, let's just do a layout so we're happy with the way that the images look on the page. Now we're happy with the way our images are laid out, let's start adding them to the pages. Because this is a plain style page, we need a way to adhere the images to the page. And what I'm going to do in this first example is I'm going to use something called Photo Corners. Now as the name suggests, these are small adhesive see-through corners that attach to the photograph and then help you stick them to the page. As you can see here, the Photo Corners actually come on a roll, so you actually peel them off individually as you need them. So let's peel one of the Photo Corners off. They have an adhesive side and a small triangular pocket which the corner of the photo slips into. So taking your photo, simply slide the corner into the pocket of the adhesive corner. As you can see, the photo corners fit neatly over the corner of the image. So let's carry on and do that for the other three corners of the image. Now that we have one of the adhesive corners on each corner of the photograph, it's time to add it to the album. So keeping the layout as we want it, let's line this image up into the album and stick it down onto the page. And there we are, we now have our first image attached to the page. I'll continue on and do the other three images now and we'll come back when all four images are attached to the page. And there we are, we now have all four images displayed on the page and we have our glass line sheet that comes over the top to protect the images when the album is closed. For our second example of the Heritage Traditional range, we're going to be looking at the Studio 80, which is the smallest size in the range and is ideal for mounting 7x5 images. So once again, apart from the size, the form is exactly the same. We have plain cream colour pages with a glass line sheet in between to protect the images. The Studio 80 is ideal for displaying 7x5 images, one per page. So as we see, we have a 7x5 image here. We could lay it out something like that on the page, enable to display it within the album. What I'm going to do this time is show you a different method for attaching the images to the pages, and this time we're going to use acid-free, double-sided mounting tape. So now we've decided on the image and how we're going to lay it on the page, all we need to do is turn the image over. The double-sided mounting tape comes on the strip and what you need to do is to cut it to the length desired for each particular image. So let's start by getting some lengths of tape that will fit the image we're working with. The first thing we need to do is to peel the tape away from its backing to reveal one of the adhesive sides. This can now be stuck onto your photograph. And then continue on to do exactly the same for all four edges. Now we have our tape on all four edges of the image, what we need to do now is to peel off the last of the backing paper. And do the same for all four pieces of tape. Now that we've peeled away the second part of the backing paper, we now have an adhesive surface that will stick to the page for us. So now we just need to simply line our image back up, smooth it down, and there we are. We have our 7x5 image added to the page of our Heritage Traditional Studio 80 album.